You're up. Hi, we did the Build to God for School by me, Elvedin, and Agent. So for our design brief, um, our target consumer were parents and then like the children, so they could do it too. Problem we faced were finding a way to lift a thousand grams of material one foot into the air. So the statement we did, we were building something that is supposed to support and lift a thousand grams with the least, uh, least amount of materials. It's just Uh, the criteria was um, the after force provided by a single human input, so that'd be just like a lever. Uh, it has to be, must be up to at least one kilogram mass, 12 feet. Um, design must have three different mechanisms, at least. Um, minimum AMA of three. Um, she must be as light as possible. Can't be less than three feet in any direction. Uh, easy to store and way to measure the input force. force the Which I did manage to do, so we are going to go there. The cost, it weighed about 4.2 pounds, so the cost was roughly 42,000. So about like right about the middle of the market, it looks like. For brainstormings, uh, I drew some different types of sketches. Like the first one, it would go up through, but it would have like, like it wouldn't really help whatsoever. That turned out horrendous. <laughs> uh, and then we ended up with the final, which is what we have right now, with the lever and everything. It uses the lever, pulley, and gear system. Decision matrix here's how we scored it. So like the difficulty for uh, ours right now. It is a little more difficult. In the time, it was easy to make. You just had to, the cost, it was decent. Criteria, okay, yeah. So I really can't remember what those criteria were exactly off the top of my head, but we found it to be easy for what we were trying to do. Lifting it up. This was before we had the yeah, we had a release test. Yeah. You could do it with one finger, but I just did it with two fingers to show that it good. Yeah, it's just me just going force. down with it. Well, if you're putting the force effort on one side and the force resistance is pushing down opposite of that, that makes it a first class lever. To a problem where it would just hit right here and then we get stuck, so. And that's why we added this uh, nifty little frame on here facing out because oh, before that we just had this piece here and it got stuck, so. Oh, this project. Yeah, no, this project this is. Here are our calculations. The IMO of the pulley was 1.46. IMO of the gear, 7.67. The lever was a 1. Same as the sides. Overall, we had a 5.70. The hammer overall was 5.16. I forgot to put the efficiency in here because that the efficiency was 90.53%. And then the gear ratio, we had uh, 1.21. The out gear was a little bit bigger in the in gear, as you can kind of see by looking at it. That's it, that's it. So this is our project. So for the demonstration, do you just want to be like this? Or? Sure, go ahead. Do it.
and like a foot is like for free to like run here somewhere. So. Yeah, we purposely set it to this point so when it lifts all the way up to here, it'll be a foot off the ground. All right.